капучино Дитарина – это нежный капучино с настоящим темным шоколадом. Макофе капучино Дитарина. Рожден соблазнять. Hello once more, welcome to the final day of competition in the 2022 European Figure Skating Championships. We're in Tallinn, the capital of Estonia on the Baltic Sea, and specifically in the Tondiraba Ice Hall here. This morning we're going to have the second stage of the dance competition, the free dance, and then tonight it's the women's free, the exhibition. We'll be showing you tomorrow, of course, tomorrow. And in first place at the moment in the free dance, the reigning European and world champions, Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov. They lead from their Russian compatriots. They've been on the podium for the last three Europeans, Alexandra Stepanova and Ivan Bukin. In third place, Charlene Guina and Marco Fabri from Italy, just ahead of Lila Fear and Lewis Gibson for Great Britain. That's the starting order. So it'll be the Estonians to start. So they'll help build the atmosphere. 20 couples have made it through from the 26 who started out yesterday. It's so far been very much Russia's competition first second and third in the pairs they thought it would be the same in the men's competition in the end mark conjure took took the gold medal in front of daniel grassel of russia and Denis vasiliev of latvia in a, a fantastic competition and these two lie in third place charlene Gina and marco fabri from italy Still improving, both in their 30s, but still getting better and better with each season. In 
second place. Alexandra Stepanova and Ivan Bukin. Their best ever short program, and they're within a point of the leaders. They too keep getting better and better, despite the fact they've been together as a skating couple for a decade and a half. They seem to be picking at just the right time for the Olympics. So they're three points clear of Gina and Fabri and only a point and a half behind these two. The reigning European and world champions, Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov. Nigh on perfection it was. Despite the fact that Nikita has a bit of a back problem, has had, he says, for a couple of years, and after Nationals had to get it sorted. So it says he's skating virtually pain-free at the moment. So, we have 20 couples split into four groups of five and an intermission after the second group. Seoses COVID-19 olukorraga maailmas ja ka Eestis palume võistluste käigus. See on lootin early because it's the Estonians to begin. Salin Mazing and Marko Yevgeni Gadienko. Your guests, due to the current COVID restrictions, is it not permitted to throw any items to the ice at any time? And we thank you very much for your cooperation. That's been adhered to mostly. Spectators, you can see, masked up. They have their... COVID ja injections, nüüd, on meil suur hea meel. and the competitors Tutsuta, have to be tested every single day. Ja and now, ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to introduce the officials for this event. Representing the ICU, the referee of the event, Sean Redstad. The panel of judges, judge number one, Kristin Ur. Judge number two, David Munoz. Judge number three, Tanay Otskan Silauglu. Judge number four, Katarzyna Javariko. Judge number five, Yelena Fomina. Judge number six, Kerstin Kimminus. Judge number seven, Anastasia Makarova. Judge number eight, Isabella Michele. Judge number nine, Christopher Buchanan. The, pan the technical panel, the technical controller, Leana Caron. The technical specialist, Kerstin Fraser Lukanin. And the assistant technical specialist, Teva Young. So you've met the people who will judge the event. Now, a chance to have a look at the competitors. Here they are in the opening group. Skaters from Estonia, from Hungary, from Switzerland, Ukraine, and the British number twos, Sasha Fear and George Waddell. These competitors who finished between 16th and 20th in the short program yesterday. So 
Mazing and Marco Yevgeny Galienko had a really long season. They've been doing, doing juniors and seniors this year. So a whole host of competitions. So it looks like there's a little technical hitch before we get the skaters out there on the ice. Estonians, of course, in their first European Championships. Celine at the front there. Originally from Paris, but now skates very much for Estonia. Valume esimese võistlusgruppi võistlejad Soyanduseks jääle. Please welcome the skaters of the first warm-up group on the ice. Representing Estonia, Solen Mazang, Marko Evgeni Gaidayenko. The Estonian national champions. Representing Hungary, Maria Ignatieva, Daniel Zemko. The Hungarian number ones in their first European. Yasmina Desari, Stefan Walker. The champions of Italy. Representing Ukraine, Maria Holtsova, Kirill Bielobrov. Runners up in Great Ukrainian Britain, Sasha Fear, George Weddle. Skaters, Sasha you have five and George minutes runners time up for your warm up. To her sister. And Lewis Gibson in British. Nationals. There's the order then, confirmation. Pretty tightly grouped, particularly the first three to go within six tenths of a mark. So a chance for these in this group to put some pressure on those in the group to come. Let's see if they can make a move. Michelle Brezina, yesterday moved up fifth, five spots in the men's free program. So here, Celine and Marco got together a couple of years ago. Celine is 18 years old. She's she was born straight away have become Estonian national champions. Marko Evgeny is 20 years old and he's studying medicine. 15th in the Warsaw the Cup. National champions from Estonia. And 9th in the Mazang, Golden Spin. Marko Evgeny Gaidayenko. A, a really good result for them. Maria on 18th aastane, pärit Ekaterinburgist. Ja teda ta huvitab ka mood ja kunst ja joonistamine. Maria Ignatova and Daniel Jonovitz Zemko. Again, it's their second year together and it's been a busy one. 17th in the Lombardia Trophy, second in the Santa Claus Cup and in the Volvo Open. This is their debut at the European Championship as a team national champions of Hungary. From Hungary, Maria Ignatova, Daniel Zemko. She's originally from Ekaterinburg, and they divide some of their time between Moscow, where they do quite a bit of their training, and Budapest. Yasmin on kahekaviyastane perit Brazilias tansi puolustus. Another couple in their second year together. Stefan on naga kolme nõhe aastane. Stefan did compete with Ariana Roblevska in Europeans and Worlds, got as high as 14th in the Europeans in Minsk three years ago. He's 31 years of age, she's 25. Yasmin is 25 years old, Stefan is 31 years old. He is a 5'10 
six-time national champion in single skating and competed at the world level until, until 2018 before switching to ice dance. This is their debut at the European Championship as a team and their current national champions. From Switzerland, Yasmin Tessari, Stefan Walker. So they're lying in 18th place. They'll be third to go. Maria on kahegnõhaastane pärit Odessas. Kirill ka kahegnõhaastane pärit Kiev. The Ukrainians, Maria Holopsova and Kirill Bielabrov. Aga ka Oberstorfis ja kahel viimasel hooajal on nad olnud oma riigin hõbemedali omalikult. Obviously, real pressure in these European figure skating championships, but perhaps in some ways a little diversion from the concern at home. Kirill Bielabrov. He's from Odessa, he's from Kiev. Runners up in the last two Ukrainian national championships and ninth in the Warsaw Cup, their last competition. And last to go, lying in 16th place will be these two, Sasha Fear and George Waddle. Based most of the time in Canada now. Coached by Roman Hajanar with Karen Quinn. Runners up in British Nationals. George originally from Canada, born in Toronto. Sasha, Sasha a London girl. She's 19, he's 23. Second in the Victor Petrenko Cup. And 11th in the Nebelhorn Trophy. That was a decent position in a high class competition. Sasha is 19 years old and George is 23 years old. This is their debut at the European Championship and they are 2021 National Championship silver medalists from Great Britain, Sasha Fear, George Weddle. Skaters, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. So it'll be Mazing and Gadienko to begin for Estonia. Then Ignatova and Zemko for Hungary. Then Jasmine Tassari and Stefan Walker for Switzerland. Then Maria Holopsova and Kilo Bielabrov from Ukraine. And finally, it'll be the Brits. Sasha Fear and George Waddell. So here's the couple from Estonia, fresh out of juniors. Solin Mazing, Marko Yevgeny Gadienko. to build a home.
have stumbled didn't go unnoticed. Twizzles, but safety done. That's an enchanting start. Good to see that easy smile on Sabine's face. Now, I think he'd like to go out and do the step sequence again. But apart from that, they did themselves Estonia. proud. Mm -hmm. Lovely lilting mood they pervade out on the ice, projected well to each other and also to the crowd. Yes, prolonged applause. And a day they will never forget whatever they go on to achieve. Choreographed program, Artem Kromik, the choreographer, deserves a round of applause. Must have been increased nerves because they are first out at home, expectant crowd. stumble on the step sequence. 
rest of it. I'll be very happy with it. Best score for the free dunk so far, 89-71. They got that in the Warsaw Cup late last year. The scores, please. Yep. Not far short of it. A couple of deductions. But 83-53. They've got a chance of moving up. I'll have to wait and see whether that happens in the next... Well, the next half an hour or so should decide that. Next to take representing Hungary. Now the Hungarian Maria national Maria champions. Ignatova. Lying in 19th place, Maria Ignatova, Daniel Leonidovic Semko. Music from the Scorpions. Stationary this to begin. Maybe I maybe you can find the key to the sauce. To catch the spirit of hope. To save one hopeless heart. You look up to the sky with all those questions in my So impressive on the twizzles.
Maria Ignadeva and Daniel Leonovic Zemko. And they look happy enough. Love the lifts in the program, particularly the opening lift, the stationary lift, but the two at the end worked magnificently too. And it looks like they're going to go into the lead. Representing Hungary, Maria Ignatieva, Daniel Zemko. Another couple just uh, out of juniors. Obviously didn't compete last year much because of COVID. But already this year, four competitions in Bergamo, in Budapest, in Riga, and another one in Budapest. Runners up in the last two. So decent form. It looks like they will not be uh, moving down. They could be moving up. They coach them left. Maybe I, maybe you. I just remember sometimes. Superstar with this stationary lift. Without a really good position. Maybe I, maybe you. I just saw jazz of love. To carry the flame, Twizzles weren't quite as good as the Estonians before. Again, fabulous position, easily held. Surprisingly, their career best, 77-95, which wouldn't get them into the lead, but I think they're going to beat that by some way. A couple, obviously, on the move upwards. Yeah, up to 90. First time in the 90s in their career. And they will extend their lead over the Estonians. And who knows, they might be moving up from the 19th position. They started this free dancing. Next is Kate representing Switzerland, Jasmine Tessari, Stefan Walker. Yes, lying in 18th place. The Swiss national champions, Jasmine Tessari and Stefan Walker, and the first Europeans together.
lance divino, mas el agua fue tan alto que me di a la casa al cance, cuanto más alto subía. Really tight on the drizzle. Yeah, these two have come on a bomb in their first year of competition together, really. COVID struck, and last year there were very, very few chances to shine, but this season they've been taking it. It's been a busy year for them. She in particular is a delight to watch on the ice. We have one or two problems. Jasmine Tazari, Stefan Walker from Switzerland. It's going to be close. The Hungarians were so good. Their place is threatened here. Well, they came in 18th place going into the free program. the end rotation on the stationary. Just 
just moments of doubt here and there. So, to maintain their position, they need 89-86. And that would be a personal best for them, a career best. Have they got it? There are doubts. Suffer. It's the Hungarians who lead at the moment. <laughs> the lead over the Hungarians. Russian slittle only half a mark from the short. We yeah. are going to drop. So the Hungarians are going to move in front of them. And they're currently in the second place. So the Hungarians lead at the moment from the Swiss and the Estonians. Next to skate representing no. Ukraine, Maria Holubtsova, Kirill Dimitrov. A couple from Dimitrov. Ukraine. Two couples here. Here's the couple who were runners-up in Ukrainian nationals. Maria Holubtsova and Kirill Bielabrov. Nine in the 17th place.
Maria Kolobsova and Kirill Bielabrov from Ukraine. And looks pretty sure that they're going to be comfortably the leaders of this opening group so far. Representing Ukraine. Maria really sure about the choice of the music, but they did everything to emphasize everything they could in it. Projection was strong to the judges and to the crowd here. And really intricate moves within it, the choreographic moves, the lifts were strong and difficult. But really well done. Tumanovska Chaya who coaches them in Kiev and some of the time in Oberstdorf. First time at the Europeans, first time in any major international championships. Yeah, straight into the twizzles. And they were the best so far, by some way the best so far. of lifts, all of them looking comfortable and strong. Footwork very much aligned. performance and let's see if the judges respond to it the best they've got is a hundred which would take them way clear 90 the best mark so far Ukraina, Ilusutaya, the Maria Kolotsova, Kirill Bilobro, the 93 that they are in front they extend their lead their total They're competition a little score bit of pressure is 156.35 on the Brits. They were only three tenths of a mark ahead place. of them after the rhythm dance. So six point lead for the Ukrainians at the moment. Next to skate representing Great Britain, Sasha here are Pierre, the British George number Wadley. twos. 19 year old Sasha Fear. Younger sister of Lila and George Waddle lying in 16th place. Music from the Nutcracker.
Yeah, the timing spot on. Top draw, yeah. Just what they wanted. And here in their first high level competition with the elite of Europe, Representing has come to compete. Sandra they have done Pierre themselves proud. In reality, only there. Second full season as senior skaters. Such a truncated time last year. Performance that grew and grew. Super combination lift at the end. Straight line lift and the rotational lift. They made the absolute most of the music choreographed by Roman Hagenau. Must be very, very happy. I'm pretty confident this is going to be a career best for them. 93 73 they got in the Nebelhorn Trophy. strong perfect alignment and perhaps the lifts were the feature of the bomb partnership that's really growing from competition to competition.
a super debut. Now, to be first, 92.75. I think they're going to be way clear of that. Ninety-nine. The skate of their lives for Sasha Fear and George Waddle. Their total competition score is one hundred. The first group is over. And they are top of it. And they're currently in the first place. Really strong marks for the components. Nearly seven points better than the rest. So it's Great Britain from Ukraine, from Hungary, Switzerland, from Estonia. That's the opening group here. The competitors in group number two. Please welcome the next group of skaters on the ice. Skaters from France. Bronze medalists in French nationals, Lucia Demoge, Theo Le Mercier. They were terrific in the rhythm dance. As were these two. Made a mistake on the twizzles. Anxious to return. From Ukraine. Representing Czech Republic. Six times Natalia national Tashlerova, champions. Philippe Tashler. And here are the Czech champions. Skaters, the you brother have and sister time for your from war. Bruno. So 64-55 for Demajo and Le Mercier. They're under a point ahead of Sacha Fira and George Waddle, who had that terrific skate just now. So they may feel a little threatened. Their first year of senior competition with these two. She's only 19 years of age. He's 22. Runners up in French nationals last year. And here they are seniors. Third in French senior championships. Luisha is 19 years old, Theo is 22 years old. This is their debut at European Championship and they are 2021 National Championships bronze medalists. From France, Luisha de Majeur, Theo Le Mercier. Papadakis and Cizeron, obviously not here. We were concerned about getting COVID, so they decided to sit this competition out. The uh, leading French, Lopareva and Brizo to go in the second uh, half. Tina Garabedian and Simon uh, Prol Senecal really enjoyed their performance in the rhythm dance. It's their fifth time in European, so their season can't Tina matter. Tina is 24 years old and Simon is 30 years old. They teamed up in May 20. 2015 from Armenia, Tina Garabidan. Best they've done, Simon 17th Sinekal. in Graz, last time we had Europeans. This year, they did well, they were fourth in the Nebelhorn Trophy and they won Katarina the Budapest Trophy. And here are the Germans. I think they've been working on their speed over the last year, encouraged by their coach Angelika Krilova, Katarina Muller, Tim Dieck. Katarina is 26 Lying years old. 13th place Tim at the moment. Is 25 years old. They teamed up in spring 2014. Yeah, seven and they are national seasons together. Multiple. Medalists from Germany, Katarina Müller, Tim Dick. 13th in the European Championships in Graz and 18th in Stockholm in the World Championships. And here, the Ukrainians, Alexandra Nazarova and Maxim Nikitin, six time Ukrainian national champions. 
really had a good time in the rhythm dance. Finished in 12th place, and they love the Alexandra ambience from the crowd, even though it's not a huge crowd. They really do know their figure skating. The rhythm dance was the easiest of the season. Alexander is 25 years old, and Maxim is 27 years old. They are the second Ukrainian ice dance team to win a medal at the ICU World Junior Championships. They're five-time and reigning national champions. From Ukraine, Oleksandra Nazarova, Maxim Nikitin. And last to go will be the Czechs, the brother and sister from Bruno. Natalie Tashlerova, Philippe Tashler. Skaters, there is one minute left in this warm-up. In 11th place. Going into the three. 19th in Graz a couple of years ago. One Czech nationals. Earlier this season. Six in the Warsaw Cup. And fifth in the Nebelhorn Trophy. Natalie is 20 years old. Philippe is 22 years old. They're current national champions from Czech Republic. Natalie Tashlerova, Philippe Tashler. So it will be the French who will go first, Demojo and Le Mercier. Then it's guys. Tina Garabedian and Simon Proul Senecal from Armenia. Then Muller and Dick from Germany. Then Nazarova and Nikitin from Ukraine. And finally, Tashlerova and Tashler from the Czech Republic. This kid is from 15th to 11th from the rhythm dance. Ladies and gentlemen, representing France, Louis Chedemogeux, Théo Lemercier. Making their debut in the European Championships. Lying in 15th place. Music you're probably well acquainted with for Louisia Demogeux and Théo Lemercier.
Lucia Demojo and Teo Lamestier. It's going to be very tight between these two. And Sasha Fear and George Waddle. Representing France, Luisa de Mojon, Physically, they interpreted the music in a very similar way. Synchronization was now perfect. Lovely lines. But yeah, there just wasn't much connection between the two of them. Few opportunities to look each other straight in the eye, but we didn't take them really when they were there. But a lovely routine, choreographed by Karin Ariban Nas. Has it been enough to keep them in front of the British number twos? Straight in with the twizzles, which weren't the best. Their timing, virtually throughout, was mighty impressive. Really clever. Yeah, there was a lot to admire. like this there needs to be a stronger visual rapport between the two of them. So to be first they need 98-67 which would be a career best for these two. And they're still making their way up the ranking. She's 19, he's 22. Have they got it? The scores please. Francis Mauvistus Bar, Luis Chetimajon, Theo Le Mercier, Luis Abaka, second place for these two. And good news for the Brits, Sasha Fear and George Waddle. They move up one, these two drop one. For now, they may move up later if we have disappointments, but it's not good news for the French here. Next to skate, representing Armenia, Tina Garadejan, Simon Kuhn-Sinekal. An excellent rhythm dance. The music from Aretha Franklin then. Here, Autumn Leaves and Luck Be A Lady. Tina Garabidian and Simon Kuhn-Sinekal from Armenia. The falling leaves drift by my window. The autumn leaves are red and blue. I see your lips, the sun kisses, the sunburned hands.
Just watch. The pickings have been lost. And yet, before this evening is over, you might give me a brush. You might forget your manner. You might refuse to say. I can't think of a better way to spend four minutes or so than watching these two. Tana, Tina Garabidian and Simon Krul Senekal from Armenia. Two originally from Canada. Representing Armenia. Tina Garabidian. Now very proud to Simon represent Krul Armenia. Senekal. And they've done so with real class. Fifth time in the European Championships from these two. Yes, they've done 17th. That was in Graz a couple of years ago. 14th they are going into the free program and I wouldn't imagine they're gonna drop. Yes, do a lot of their training in Montreal. Simon is from the tutelage of Roman Agena. There is room for doubt. At times you have a very young lady like way. Beautifully synchronized. You're on the stage with me. The pickings have been lush, and yet before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might every slow as their you performance standing up to, to the closest scrutiny.
So they're marked to beat 97-64. But they have got into three figures before, and I would imagine they will do again. That was in the golden spin in Zagreb. Sure, it's going to be Armenia a roundabout that mark. Tina Karabidjan, Simon Preul, Sinekal, yeah, 102.85. nodding of heads. Their total competition score is 100. So they extend their lead over Sasha Fear and George place. Waddle. 168.43. Five points clear. Very well done. Next to skate representing Germany, Katarina Müller, Team D. They were a little upset with the performance in the rhythm dance. Let's see if they can make it even better here. Lying in 13th spot from Germany, Katarina Müller and Tim Dieck. Music from The Bodyguard. I'd like to do a song that I've never sung before. And this is the hymn. Skaters here with immense character. Class on the drizzle. Really great speed across the ice.
great entry into that. So enjoyable. Everything they do is great fun. And hopefully the components mark will reflect that. Katarina Muller, Tim Dieck. Representing he has real charisma. Germany. Katarina Muller, Something about Tim him that Dieck. is very, very watchable, and they make a super team. Couldn't see a mistake on the twizzles this time. But it may be a hard job holding off the Armenians, Karabedian and Pul Senekal, who preceded them. <laughs> There's Angelica, who encouraged them to work on their speed over the last few weeks. Certainly didn't seem to be any speed lacking in that routine. Perfect synchronization there. The lifts were fantastic. Seems to be really good chemistry between them. I think they've got a great career as professionals if they ever decide to give up this competitive luck. Super personalities. It's going to be tough, though, to hold on to that first place. They need, what, 100.98. They have got 105 before, so it's within their compass. The scores, please. Thank you. Thank you. Katarina Müller, Tim Dieck, teenisid yeah. Abahavaga 102.81. Second in the free, but I think that's going to turn to first place, yeah. They're not overly thrilled, and they may not be moving up, but they're not moving down. Müller and Dieck for Germany. Hold off the Armenians. Next to state representing Ukraine, Alexandra Nazarova, Maxim Now the six-time Ukrainian national champions. Alexandra Nazarova, Maxim Nikitin. The music. Moulin Rouge.
Gaga would have loved it. Alexandra Nazarova, Maxim Nikitin from Ukraine. One or two just awkward moments. And you can see they're reflecting on that, but it was a super routine, full of innovation, great fun to watch. Alexandra Nazarova, Maxim Nikitin. And they've got a chance of moving into the top ten with that. Have been in the top ten in Europeans before. That was in Ostrava five years ago. But it was so watchable. The crowd here, you could tell really got into it innovation right the way through the program Alexander Zulin world champion of course 1993 and me could write a bad romance. Oh, I want your love and know your love is revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. Oh, a super sliding move at the start here. The judges, which is if they really like that. their leading position that they had over the competitors who preceded them going into the free, but they really are looking for a top 10 place if they can possibly get it. Some crucial moments for these two now.
The score is please. They need. Surely they've got that. Ukraina võistlus kaar Oleksandra Nazarova, Maksim Nikitin. Teenisid vabakavaga 105,48. Kogu summa 173,98. So, one team still to go. Next to skate, representing Czech Republic, Natalita Tashlerova, Filip Tashler. the halfway mark here. And here they are, the brother and sister from the Czech Republic. Lying in 11th place. Natalie Tashlerova, Filip Tashler.
Dramatic ending for Natalia Tashler over. Philip Tashler. Yeah, I think they know that. Could have been a little better. Love the cohesion that they had. Czech Republic. Natalia Tachlerova, Philip Tachler. Have they done enough? It may not be. To hold their position. And they'll be looking for a place at the top ten if they can, but that may well be denied them. We shall see in the second half of this competition. Second Europeans for them, they were 19th in Graz, so a whole lot better here. Maturing all the time. It must be so difficult constructing and choreographing a routine for brother and sister. Tardecitas de Buenos Aires. Happy on us now. Can they be in a minute's time when they see the these scores, marks? Please? They need 104.28. Czechy Wojstu Star, Natalie Tashlerova, Filip Tashler. Fourth place on the free. Where does that place them overall? Second. They go behind Nazarova and Nikitin, who lead at the moment. It's a real disappointment for the Czechs. Taking it well, but that must be a bitter pill to swallow. So that's where we are, where we are at the halfway mark. Nazarova and Nikitin lead. Tashler over and Tashler in second, and Muller and Dieck third for Germany. And here, lower down. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with us in just under a quarter of an hour.
Las tardecitas de Buenos Aires.
Palumi järgmisi gruppi võistlejad, kus selles soojenduseks teame tulla. Please welcome the next group of skaters on the ice. The free dance here. Skaters rank between 10th and 6th after the rhythm dance. Skaters from France, from Poland, from Russia, from Lithuania and Spain. The part of a and Briso, runners-up in French nationals, seven times Polish champions. Representing Russia, Diana Davis, Gleb Smolkin. Davis and Smolkin so impressive in the rhythm dance. And the Lithuanian double national champions. And a key moment for these two, Sara Hurtado, Kirill Kalyavin. So that's the order in which they'll skate. First two group very closely together. And we'll feel a little threatened by Nazarova and Nikitin who are right behind them. A couple from France, French number twos. Surprisingly, they won't be going to the Olympics. Only one spot for France, and uh, Papadakis and Cizeron will obviously take that. So, uh, disappointment for these two, but they did well in the rhythm dance, finishing in 10th place. 23 years old. This is their second European Championship, and they are 2021. Yeah, they were 15th in Glass, 17th in Stockholm in the World Championships, and twice they've been runners-up. French nationals. Natalia Kalishek and Maxim Spodiriev. Lying in ninth place going into the free. Been skating together for the best part of a decade. She's 25, he's 28. And Maxim is 28 years old. Best they've done in European Championships. They were fifth a couple of years ago. Sorry, three years ago in Minsk. And last year, no Europeans, so. 2020 was the last time they were in Europeans. They were ninth. That was a bad drop. So they haven't found any advance in the last couple of years. These two, probably the most exciting newcomers in the world of ice dance. Diana Davis, Gleb Schmolkin. First season on the major international tour. And they go into the free program in eighth place in their first time in Europeans. Normally you have to wait your turn, but these two are not prepared to do that. And in seventh place, Lithuanian. National champions, Alison, double champions. Disappointment this season for Alison because uh, she didn't get Lithuanian citizenship, so they're not going to the Olympics. She had to have citizenship of that country to do so, even though she skates for Lithuania. With Amber Odysseus. And has done for the best part of four years. They're two time national champions. From Lithuania, Alison so Reed, they were Saulius Ambrulevichus. Really quite nervous in the rhythm dance, more nervous than in the golden spin. That's understandable. Bigger competition. Sara Hatado and Kirill Kalyavin will be last to go in the group. Key for them, of course, to produce the performance of their lives, really, because they're vying with Olivia Smart and Adrian Diaz for a spate, a spot at the Beijing Winter Olympics. 
They were beaten by Smart and Diaz in the Glandia Trophy and also in National. So Skaters, they have to overturn it here and by a pretty convincing margin. Sarah, and it didn't work old. for them in the rhythm dance. Old. They are two time national champions from Smart Spain. And Diaz in Sarah fifth Carlo, place. And they have a, a couple of points advantage over Hatado and Kalyavin. So it's got to be exceptional from these two if they're going to make it through to Beijing. So it will be the French to go first. The French number one is here. The runners up in French nationals, Loparova and Brissot. Then Kalishek and Spodiriev for Poland. Then Davis and Schmolkin for Davis, Russia. Reed and Ambrovicius for Lithuania. And finally, the Spaniards. moments. So the part of her and Brisa already out there on the ice. Ladies and gentlemen, representing France, Yevgenia Lopareva, Jorge Brisa. Yevgenia Lopareva. Jeffrey Briso for France. Lying in 10th spot.
terrific. The Panama and Brissot for France. It's the third time I've seen this routine this year. Saw it in the Grand Premier, where they were six, and the International de France, where they were fourth. But for me, that was the best they've skated it by some distance. Fantastic cohesion, great choreography, mighty enjoyable routine. And what a contrast to their hip hop and blues that they had in the rhythm dance. So versatile, these two. They're taking it in their stride, they're not overwhelmed by what they achieved there. They might be setting it a bit more, but. It was very, very impressive. Alexander Zulin, who helped choreograph the program, and what a good job he did. Straight into the twizzle. Just a little bit apart, but no harm done. Excellent synchronization. Lovely counterpoint to the balance of the spin here. They didn't notice it until they finished. Total commitment. A really superb job from these two here. Yeah? Still emerging, remember. She's the only 21, he's 23. So to be first, 103.78, surely it's more than that. Oh, yeah, it's a career best. 108.12. They're going to be comfortably in the top 10. This was she looked a, a bit happier about life. And they're currently in the first place. But it is first place with nine to go. At least we got a thumbs up. Next escape representing Poland, Natalia Kalishek, Maxim Spodrev. Now, the seven time Polish champions from Torun, Natalia Kalishek, Maxim Spodrev. Hot cry. These two had a breathtaking performance in the rhythm dance.
Nothing ever comes out of cops with the cops tell me with the stars align. Whatever said be will it say from a sin will it this has to mind Stand strong Natalia Kalishek, Maxim Spodiriev for Poland. It's been as high as fifth in the European Championships with these two. It's not going to happen this year. For me, the parts were all fine. Couldn't find any real problems, although the judges seem to have a problem with the combination spin. But the whole didn't amount to as much as it did for the Parava and Briso, or even for Nazarova and Nikitin. Surprised because I really enjoyed their rhythm dance. And they are really fine skaters. Just a little shake of the head. be danger lurking. Remember they're lying in ninth place at the moment. No problem with the twizzles, they were fine. Strong projection across the ice to the judges and to the audience. Let's see how they go. To maintain their position, they need 107.88. They have got as high as 112 in the European Champions when they are fifth. In grass. They're the French. You can imagine what they're thinking. The French might be moving up here. A long wait. And that too is a bad sign close analysis of the precarious moves. The scores, please.
പോള വൈസുസ് പാർ നത്താല കളിച്ചക് മക്സിം സ്പോദരിയം ടെനിസ് ബാബ കവാസ് കോസ്കുമൻ Judges have really shown their lack of appreciation for that. They dropped the sick, which is in ice dance terms, is huge, a huge drop. That's desperate to take. Next to take representing Russia, Diana Davis, let's smoke it. Is a couple really on the move up eighth place going into the free who knows music from Moulin Rouge for Diana Davis and Glib Schmolkin the story is about I'm so 
if not for love. Diana Davis, Gleb Schmolkin for Russia. The most exciting newcomers to the ice dance scene. Can you imagine where they're going to be placed next year after the senior competitors have retired? They're going to be vying for medals at European and World Championships. Not this year, but they're not far away. So intricate, and yet so enjoyable. Not meant to throw the toys onto the ice, but hey. Pedigree, of course. Lips, the son of the Russian actor Boris Shmolkin. Diana, the daughter of Ettery Tuberitsa, the leading singles coach in the world at the moment. Who was a former dancer herself, so plenty to impart in wisdom. Igor Spielband, who coaches them in the USA. Wasn't diminished. You don't have to put on that red light. Walk the streets for money. You don't care if it's wrong or if it is right. Great expression to too. So how good was it? They need just 105 to be first. That's not a worry. The best they've achieved so far, 118.60. That was in the Warsaw Cup. Remember, this is a couple who keep on improving. The scores, please. Venema, Waste of Sparum, Diane Davis, Gleb Molken, 113.29. Yeah. They extend their lead. And they put a lot of pressure on the couples just above them. These two are definitely going places. Now the... Couple Next from Lithuania. Lithuania. She originally from Kalamazoo. Sorry, she has skated for Georgia and Israel. Yet for the last four years with Saulius here. Alison Reed, Saulius Ambrilovicius. Vinegar and salt.
Vinegar and salt by Hoover Phonic. They didn't look like vinegar and salt there, did they? Terrific together. Alison Reed, Saulius Ambrilovicius. And they're keeping it together despite the huge disappointment that they had this season. Her not Lithuania. gaining Lithuanian Alison citizenship, Reed, so they Saulius can't go Alvinicius. to Beijing for the Winter Olympics. Some of the motivation must have gone, but you wouldn't have known it from that performance. Love the step sequences. So the world's in, Mon in uh, Montpellier, very much in their minds now. They did everything they possibly could here. I'm not sure they're going to be able to hold off Diana Davis and Gleb Schmolken, though. Like the things that really you good choice hate. of music. right the way through. So they need 112 to be first, which would be a personal best by some six marks. I think they've got it. The scores, please. Play the whistle spark. Alison Reed. Close, but not to be. Yeah, not in their head. I think they expected that. Second on the free program. I think it's going to be second overall, too. Yes, it is. Only three and a half points behind the Russians. Davis and Schmolkin lead the way. So now the first of the couples from Spain. They have been national champions. Runners up for the last two years. Overtaken by Olivia Smart and Adrian Diaz. They have to beat them here. So music from Led Zeppelin. The Sara Hatado and Kirill Kalyavin lying in sixth place.
A stonkingly good performance from Sara Hatado and Kirill Kaliavin. Four minutes that went by in the blink of an eye. They can't have done more. Have they got the Olympic spot? Well, it's odds against. But they put everything possibly Spain. down there Sarah on the ice there. Kirill Kaliavin. She is a captivating watch, and he does his very best to present her. Congratulations to them. Must have been a bit dispiriting when they were beaten in the Finlandia Trophy, then beaten in Spanish Nationals. But they've bounced back and done their very best here. Day two, though, under threat from Dana Davis and Gleb Schmolkin. They were only a couple of marks behind them going into this free. The best mark they've had, 117.39. That was in the Ice Star event a couple of years ago. Need 110.79 to be first. Yeah. Touch and go. Oh, they've done it. Yeah, 116.07. Yeah, that will do. And that puts all the pressure in the world on Olivia Smart and Adrian Diaz, who are to come next. Well done to these two. 
such difficult circumstances and they've been brilliant. So Hurtado and the Calibin first for Spain. Then Diana Davis and Gleb Schmolkin. Alison Reed and Salius Ambrolovicius in third place. Please welcome the next now, group of skaters on the the final ice. group. Skaters from Spain, from Great Britain, from Italy, from Russia, and another couple from Russia. The top two. Olivia Smart, Adrian Diaz. They'll be very aware of how well the other Spaniards Lyla do. Fear, Lewis Gibson. Lila Fear and Lewis Gibson. Represent Just a shot Italy. of a place Guignard, on the podium. Not if these two have got anything to do with it. Third place at the moment. Representing Russia, Alexandra Stepanova, Ivan Bukin. Stepanova and Bukin, their best ever rhythm dance. Representing Russia, Victoria Sinitsina, Nikita Katsalapov. And Cecina. And Kutsalapov, unbeaten in over a year. So a big gap from third down to fourth, but I don't fear and Lewis Gibson will give it everything, that's for sure. And a surprisingly small gap between the two Russians. A lot of people coming into this thought that Olivia Sinner and Katsalapov had it almost down. Uh, Adrian Smart and Diaz then. Been together for six years now. Olivia is 24 years old. Adrian is 31 years old. They've They're been as high as eight in the European Spain, Championships Olivia a couple Smart, of times. Adrian Diaz. The top five is a minimum for them. Not just for the prestige, but it will mean that they have beaten Hurtado and Calliope. Lila Fear with Lewis Gibson. Lila knows her sister has done that really well. They're in 10th place at the moment. She's the older sister. She's 22. He's 27. Four times national champions of Great Britain. 27 years old. They are three times and reigning national champions. From Great Britain, Lila Fear, Lewis Gibson. I was saying that six years ago at their first Europeans, they were the first to skate in Ostrava. And here they are in the final group, shows how far they've advanced. And here, the Italians. Good to hear in the press conference yesterday that they are going to compete next year. And they're going to keep on deciding year on year. Charlene is 32 years old, Marco is 33 years old. Despite their age. And why not if they keep on? Improving. Three and reigning national champions from Italy, Charlene then they have Nier, to continue, Marco sure. Fabri. And of course, if Papadakis and Cizeron and Sinatina and Katsalapov retire, they've got a chance for gold. Stepanova and Bukin. Just amazing in the rhythm dance. Alexandra is 26 years old. Ivan is 28 years old. They teamed up in They've been three times on the They're podium already at Europeans. National champions They've from been Russia, Alexandra Stepanova, Ivan bronze Putin. medalists. A couple of times, silver medalist in Minsk in 2019. They want gold here. Well, these two. Nikita's had a back problem for a couple of years and after nationals he had to go in the hospital, the doctors worked on him and there was a whole lot of physio, he says he's virtually pain free here, certainly no sign of it in the rhythm dance. Sinitsina and Katsalapov reigning European champions, reigning world champions. Yeah, 
think she's on a winner here. Remember, Russia, the winners of the pairs competition, all three medals there, winners of the men's competition with Mark Kondratuk. The women tonight, Valieva, strong favorite, of course. Skaters, there is one minute left in this warm up. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to introduce the International Skating Union, the rep ICE representative, Alexander Lakernik. Mr. Lakernik will present the medals in around half an hour's time. Will there be medals for these two? Been together now for 12 years, Gina and Fabry. And yet they keep on improving. These two have been together for 16 years. Skaters, the warm up has ended. Please leave the ice. So it'll be Smart and Diaz first. Then Lila Fear and Lewis Gibson. Then Gina and Fabri for Italy. Then Stepanova and Bukin. And finally, the reigning champion, Sinitsina and Katalapov. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Spain, Olivia Smart, Adrian Diaz. Here they go. Fifth place going into the free. Can they put a performance in that's going to secure that place in Beijing? Smart and Diaz for Spain. Just the opening that they wanted. Station rotational lift followed by the twizzles.
What a fabulous ending. Great choreography. It is so commendable under the hugest pressure that they've been able to deliver a performance that's so enjoyable as that. As well as so important. And it looks from the technical score as if they've done enough. I can't imagine the component score is going to hinder them. Olivier Smart, Adrian Diaz. It was great. The Mask of Zorro. Plenty to talk about. Can you imagine the nerves there must have been? divided it amongst the three events but it looks as if these two have won all three have to fight a little bit to get back the cohesion there on the twizzle So now the moment of truth. The scores, please. Surely it's going to be first place for them. His point of his score. Olivia Smart, Adrian Diaz. Yes. They've got it. Despite the deduction. They've made it. They're in first place. They are in the Olympics. It's been a long haul that they've made it. And congratulations to Olivia Smart and. Adrian Diaz, commiserations to Hurtado and Kalyabin because they could not have done more themselves. Yeah, huge relief. Next to skate representing Great Britain, line of fear, Lewis Gibson. So line one place above them and they've got to perform again as they did in the rhythm dance. Lila Fear and Lewis Gibson, fourth going into the free. Music. The soundtrack to The Lion King.
Good step sequence. Line of fear, Lewis Gibson, the British champions. Fifth in the Europeans in Graz. They want to be moving up from that, hopefully into a podium position. Have they done enough there? Great Britain. Certainly a vibrant Line routine, of lots of vitality. Little hiccup in the twizzles. Love the step sequence. Lifts look great. And they're coming on a bomb, these two. Super choreography. Sam Chuina has a lot to do with that, as well as Roman Hajinar and Jeanette Konoya. of that, how severely we shall see. Olivia Smart and Adrian Diaz are snapping at their heels. They've got a, a couple of marks in front of Smart and Diaz going into the free. They may need them. The scores, please. Suur Britannia võistlus paar, Laila Fair, Lewis Gibson, Denisid Vabakavest, lõvus teistkonnelli 
up to fourth. First and second at the moment. Three to come. You wouldn't expect any of the top three to drop. So that's disappointing, I'm afraid, for Lila and for Lewis. Next escape representing Italy, Charlene Guignard, Marco Fabri. These two have been on the podium before at Europeans. Three years ago. Can they get there again? Charlene Guignard, Marco Fabri in third place. Very highest caliber in these two.
It's mind-boggling. The precision that these ice dancers can produce under the severest pressure. Here they are going for a medal at European Championships. Not a flaw. Sharingina, Marco Fabri. Representing Italy, Charlene Guignard, Marco Fabri. And it's great to know that we're going to see them again next year. And who knows what they might achieve next year. But it looks like there could be another medal for them right here in Tallinn. They just seem to get better and better. It's interesting, they were saying in the press conference that they spend most of the time trying to avoid getting COVID, which is maybe a good thing, this because it takes the, the pressure off the actual competitive performance. It's just a, a bit of a distraction. It's a weird one, but I can understand that. It's so, so intense about not getting COVID before Beijing. So far. Yes, hold first place at the moment, but I think they know not for much longer. These two need 113.52 to be first. They should comfortably get that. Yeah, turn the mobile off. Italia vs. Sfara, Charlene Guignard, Marco Fabri, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. 124. They're nearly their career best. Only a couple of points adrift. They are on the podium. Gina and Fabri on the podium for the second time. And they are currently in first place. Looks like she's grazed herself too. But uh, she won't be thinking of that right now. Great stuff. Next to state representing Russia. So now Alexandra it's Stepanova, Ivan the Russians. First and second. First up, the couple in the silver medal position going into the free. Three times they've been on the podium up to now at Europeans. Alexandra Stepanova, Ivan Bukin.
Bolton that's on the drizzle. They've done it again. Their best ever rhythm dance. Followed by very possibly their best ever free dance. Alexandra Stepanova, Ivan Bukin. On the podium again at European Championships, but which spot will it be? Representing Russia, Alexandra Stepanova, Ivan Bukin. The Russians as proud as punch. Well, it's down to the judges now. They couldn't have done any more. Irina Zuk, Alexander Zvinin. So many different emotions. It must be relief, pride, expectation, and some joy.
sever your body in synchronization. You can just tell these two have a, a great chemistry between them. Built the performance second by second. Yeah, I think these two know it is very probably going to be a bronze medal for them. The fourth place. Who can insta and need 121 to go into the lead? Surely it's more. 126, 75, very near, a career best. Plenty of nodding of the head. You just don't know until the second Russian couple have gone how good that is. But they're what, over five marks in front of Gina and Fabry. Here they come then, world champions, European champions, unbeaten in the Grand Prix this year, unbeaten for over a year. Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov in gold medal position going into the free. The music from Rachmaninoff. sliding through.
Victoria Sinitsina. Nikita Katsalapov. The world champions. European champions. It looks like they've done enough to retain their European crown. Again, the severest pressure put under by Stepanova and Bukin. But they responded to it. Representing Russia, Victoria Sinitsina, Nikita Tatsalapa. They keep producing when it really matters. And it really mattered then. Again, such a combination of emotions there must be. Still, they're not sure. It was so close in the rhythm dance. It's not going to be a wide margin here in the free, but it looks as if they've just done enough. Mentally so strong as well as fantastic performance. Exquisite position. not quite as good as Stepanova and Bukin. Such difficult lives. Great entries into all of them. with connection between the two of them. Constantly there. Wasn't it an exciting finish? So then, to be first, they need 125. When they won the world title in Stockholm, they got 133. It's that good, but it's going to be close. I'll be making them wait. I hardly know where to look. A long time. Something's being examined very closely. The scores, please. Venema wins the spot. Victoria Sinitina, Nikita Katsalapo. Wow, 130. <laughs> European champions for the second successive time. Victoria Sinitsina, Nikita Katsalapov. And the marks were emphatic. Over three marks better than Stepanova and Bukin. And overall, four and a half marks clear. Sinitsina and Katsalapov, then Stepanova and Bukin. Russia first and second, and Italy third with Gina and Fabry. Olivia Smart and Adrian Diaz, congratulations for them, fourth place.
fifth for Lila Fear and Lewis Gibson. So now we await the medals and maybe we'll have a word or two with the winners here. They were very emotional as you saw when they found out they've won. So Russia first, second and third in the pairs. First in the men, first and second in the dance. And Camilla Valieva, a red hot favorite to make it four golds tonight in the women's free. It was a convincing margin in the end. Surprised it was as far as that, Sinitsina and Kinsalapov. Over three marks better in the free than Stepanova and Bukin. But that was the reality. Close in the, sh in the uh, rhythm dance, but not so close in the free. They've been royally entertained. Super event. Not much change at the top. Fear and Gibson dropping a place, only six in the free. But dropping from fourth to fifth overall. Atado and Galiavin move up to fifth in the free, but stay in sixth place. And uh, we'll be really disappointed they weren't able to overhaul their compatriots, but it was such a brave fight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 2022 European champions, Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov. Congratulations on your victory. Uh, your performance was just fantastic. Both of your programs were magnificent. Uh, would you like to say your, to your fans and supporters here in audience or maybe to those who are watching you right now on TV? Привет, Эстония, привет, Таллин. Спасибо всем огромное за такую колоссальную поддержку. Зал просто потрясающий, теплая атмосфера. Вы, зрители, просто сумасшедшие, в хорошем смысле слова, потому что от вас такая энергетика идет. Спасибо вам огромное, это нам дает огромные силы. Thank you very much. Thank you, Talent. Thank you, audience. You're just crazy in good way. Thank you for your emotions. You said um, in Tokyo 2021 that your pro program is about you, your career, and hopefully with bright finish. Is it a finish? Not yet. How, is it bright? How do you feel at the moment? Как вы чувствуете? Uh, да, действительно, эта программа yeah, про нас, про finished. нашу жизнь, можно так сказать. И мы чувствуем ее, мы передаем эту всю, всю нашу жизнь, всю нашу энергетику именно зрителям и пытаемся донести все это, все, что мы чувствуем. Это получилось сегодня? Я, по мне, да. Я э, получила огромное удовольствие. Yeah. yeah, the question was uh, about um, the program and, and, and 
as Victoria said, that it's the program, what they just performed, it's about them and their career, and, and they're feeling very good, and Victoria especially felt that, that it was bright and it was great today. Any questions? More, please. Yes, I do. Uh, are there any goals you would like to accomplish in the next few months or to a couple of years? Всем привет от меня тоже. Знаете, сегодня особенный день. Мы начинаем готовиться к Олимпийским играм. Это здорово. Hello everyone, uh, thank you, and yes, we today started to um, practice to our Olympic games. Which medal is more brighter, uh, the previous European champion or today's? It's, it's totally different, you know, every competition uh, consists of uh, several uh, things, like uh, even the programs are different, you know, you can't compare them at all. It was bright that time and we, it was, I think, even brighter today. Because this is, again, this is a special season, special year. Thanks, Stalin. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much, Estonia. And the Ruslan, Yelena, Angelina, any поддерживают вас? Any, they are your friends or your previous partners or competitors? Вы знаете, мы с ребятами в хороших отношениях, но, к сожалению, вся наша жизнь сейчас посвящена спорту, мы постоянно находимся на льду, и поэтому мы мало общаемся с ними, да и вообще со всеми мало общаемся, мы просто тренируемся на самом деле всегда и спим, и все. Но на самом деле мы поздравляем друг друга с праздниками, и ребята нас поздравляли в прошлом сезоне с, с хорошим выступлением на соревнованиях, поэтому все отлично. And briefly, they have very great uh, relationship with their previous partners. And congratulations for your best Thank you performance so today. Much. And Thank you. Happy future. I think that was almost as grueling as winning the gold medal. Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov. Champions here, the bronze medalists. Kina and Fabry continue to go from strength to strength. They make the competition look so enjoyable and so easy. Second place, their fourth time on the podium, their second time with the silver medal. Alexandra Stepanova and Ivan Bukin. Here are the champions, Sintzina and Katsalapov. Their European title. I wouldn't say it was with ease, but with command. So the podium is ready. Isu iluisuttamise Euroopa meistri võistlused 2022 jäädantsu auinad seremoonia. Well, they used to, but I'm sure this feels as good as anything they've done in their career.
kolmas koht ja bronksmedali võitjad. Third and winner of the bronze medal from Italy, Charlene Guignard, Marco Fabri. And they won the bronze medal with a lot to spare. Really was a superb performance. Loved the routine to a turn that was a little sparrow. Perfect choreography. Congratulations to Barbara Fusipoli and Roberto Panizzola. Pina Gott. Yeah, Second and winner of the silver medal from Russia, Alexandra Stepanova Ivan Bukin. It was their best performance in the short program. The rhythm dance, the best, very nearly in the free, their best overall. And they've won the silver medal. Stepanova and Bukin. Legion of supporters around the world, and quite a few here. They keep up their attack. First and European Ice Dance Champions for 2022. From Russia, Victoria Sinitsina, Nikita Katsalakov. Champions again. Champions of Europe, champions of the world. beaten anywhere since the World Championships in 2019. And still, they'll probably go in as second favourites behind Papadakis and Cizeron in Beijing. Palume tervitada rahvusvaalise uisuliidu esindajad. Please welcome the ICU representative, Alexander Lakernik. So more the medals for the Russians. But first, will award the, medals. the Italians. On the podium for the second time. Second time, silver medalist. And gold on top of the podium again for this remarkable couple. Please welcome the president of the Estonian Skating Union, Mayra Arm. She will award the flowers. Another super afternoon's entertainment. And really impressive again, no more COVID cases that have taken out competitors today. These competitors are so wary of getting COVID just before the Olympics. They've trained for four years for but no more cases today. So congratulations to everyone involved. But most of all, congratulations to Victoria and Nikita. Damid ja herrat, palume võitjate riigi hymniajak saalis püstidõusta. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise for the national anthem of the champions.
Mid Harrod. The European Ice Dance Champions here in 2022. Victoria Sinatsina and Nikita Katsalapov. And that just about brings our coverage to a close for the moment. Don't forget we'll be in action in about an hour and a quarter. We were the women's free. Two medals here for Russia, first and second. It could be first, second and third in the women's free. Mona Hendricks is in second place for Belgium, but it's going to be really exciting. Camilla Valieva in the lead. We'll be back with you in about an hour and a quarter's time for the final competition of these European Championships in 2022. Thank you for your support, for your cooperation. All those guests who had tickets only for the uh, Ice Dance event, uh, we ask you kindly to leave from this uh, audience from uh, end.